Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech Dad Info. I'm Scotty with my festive co host Cletus. Uh, today is December 24th, 2017, so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, yada yada yada. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick, fun little video for my festive decor uh, on how do those crazy Christmas laser projectors actually work. So, this is what they look like it looks like a little spotlight housing that might usually hold like a GU-10 halogen spot, but in this case they shoot a couple lasers out. And uh, that's that's what it looks like. And you can see the, they have the, the oh my god we're all gonna die laser radiation warning. Uh, as it turns out the output of these like, uh, well let me, let me show you what it does. You get a lovely pattern like that and at night if you're shooting it at a wall, it looks something like this. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so it's pretty spectacular. Anyway, uh, opening it up, I've kind of pre-disassembled it here. You take this guy off, and you notice you've got some weird stuff hot glued on there. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, this is basically it. Uh, it's not terribly complicated. I'm not going to yank all this stuff out. There's some electronics in here. There's a little. There's a big board. It's basically the power supply to drive the lasers. Driving the laser. Driving lasers is not as simple as just you know sticking a battery across them or something. There's kind of specific current and voltage requirements and stuff. So there's also a little horizontal board in here. You can kind of see hidden back there and an antenna because this particular unit has a, a little remote control which I seem to have misplaced. Um, and so you can control it remotely. So, and then there's an electrolytic cap here. This is, it's really basically simple. Power board, little RF receiver board, uh, lasers, you're done. Uh, this is the green laser, the fat one, and this is the red laser. And if I plug this dude in, of course, without this magical cover, what you end up with is two points of laser light. Obviously, that's not what we're shooting for there. So it turns out that the secret is this guy. And you know, if I get nice and close here, you'll notice that this is actually to, looks like two little squarish pieces of plastic rotated with respect to each other. These are actually basically uh, laser beam splitters, and typically that's done with diffraction gratings. Now, diffraction gratings, uh, it's a long story. There's this Dutch guy named Christian Huygens. Uh, who died in 1695, blah, 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 blah. The short version is, <clears throat> you can think of a, of a diffraction grating as, this is greatly simplified just for, for grins and giggles, but uh, if, if you have, uh, say, like a wall here with a little hole or a slit cut in it, and you shine a light source on it, the output of this hole is effectively like a new light source where light will spread in all directions. If you do the same thing, What's in our way here? A screw. And another screw. If you do the same thing over here, but you make the aperture wider, like say several times the wavelength of your light, then what tends to happen is even though your light source is shining out like this, um, you get what appears to be kind of more like a beam. And that's because the, the more, you can think of it like more lights getting through, so the light waves are interacting, adding and subtracting, and you get kind of a tighter beam. It gets really complicated. Um, <clears throat> a diffraction grating is when basically you have multiple uh, holes in your, your material and effectively when you shine your light on it you end up with points of light or, or rather sheets of light because it's shining through slits, you know, whatever. Um, and because the, the reason there are basically two of these little things on here is easy way to think about it is if you have slits like this and you have slits like this if I could get my fingers to stay still, and you rotate it, look at that, you've got dots. So that's kind of a really overly simplified way to think of uh, how diffraction gratings work. So yeah, it's basically just green laser, red laser, power electronics, some RF stuff if you've got a remote control, and most of the work is being done by this guy, who's essentially just taking one laser beam and splitting it into a whole boatload of pretty dots. And of course, if this is farther away, as the, as I showed uh, earlier in the vid, uh, it looks looks very pretty. So one, one little thing to note is these, um, if you stare into one of these things, 
I know people are usually like, oh my god, you're going to go blind. Um, these little lasers inside, I think they're typically, I don't know, like something like 100 milliwatts or something. That actually is quite high. Uh, it's actually, 100 milliwatts is, is quite high. Your typical laser pointer, I think they're allowed to be like 5 milliwatts maximum. But even though each laser may be like 100 milliwatts and it's rather powerful, because, because the laser beam is actually going through the diffraction gratings and the beam is being split into like, you know, 100, 200 dots or something, each of those dots is actually much less powerful, so if you happen to look into one of these things uh, when it's assembled, then one, one of those hundreds of dots, if it shines in your eye, it's going to kind of, you know, you're going to see like a green or a red splotch on your vision. It's not going to instantaneously blind you, and you're not going to die. So I don't really recommend staring into lasers, no matter what the power is, but uh, yeah, you're not going to like fry your retinas or anything. So, Right, so that's about it. They're pretty simple. Um, oh, one other thing, some of these little gizmos, they actually have, uh, instead of the, the glued diffraction gratings like this, some of them actually have a kind of a disc, and there's a motor inside, and the disc kind of, kind of rotates, and the laser shines through one half or the other of the disc, and the motor's in the center, and it kind of rotates like this, and that's the, those are the ones where you get, like, you know, it's like projecting moving dots on the wall, or snowmen, or all that kind of stuff, it's essentially the same principle. So um, this one is kind of nice because it's a lot simpler. You can just see, you know, it's done. So anyway, um, yeah, that's about it. For more Techie Tips, see Scotty's Tech.info. Uh, again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and see you next time.